Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to hop on here and share with you all the things I've been making lately. I do have some secret whips going on that is part of a collab that I'm hosting and participating in. Uh, so those will be popping up later in different videos. So I am working on those. That's why some of these are kind of things you've already seen before. If you watched my Vlogtober videos, you would have seen most of these already. <laughs> but I'm going to hop into it. I'm going to try to link everything down below. There was one pattern that I cannot find where I got it from. I know I got it from Instagram and I looked and looked and looked and I could not find it. So I don't know if maybe I just overlooked it and I'll keep looking for it. Or if maybe they got deleted. I don't know. <laughs> but I, if I, I'll, I'll try to keep looking for it and if I find it, I will link it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop in and share with you what I've been making. So I do have a craft fair coming up. And so I'm making a lot of amigurumis for that. And uh, I'm trying to make four, five, six of each amigurumis. So that I have a good little supply. So one of the things I thought would be cute to take to it was pickles. So if you've been watching my Vlogtobers, you'd have seen these pickles. I showed them on there a few times. <laughs> the only thing I got left to do is stitch on their little mouths. I haven't done that yet. And uh, so I made five of them. And it's from Instagram by Ollie's Crochet. So here's one of them. <laughs> I can't show them all at once or drop them. So I did follow the pattern the first time, most halfway. I'm not sure which one is that pickle. <laughs> But I didn't like the way the the bumps were lining up, so I did just start kind of randomizing it. And then I made some pickles taller and shorter. So there's one pickle. And then here's the other four. <laughs> so some of them I used a bump as a nose, and some of them I didn't. So I do want to put little smiles on them. And then they'll be good to go in my little box for the craft fair. So I made five of those. The yarn is Karen One Pound, grass green. And then scraps of pink and white around the eyes. And then I will use black for the little smiles. And the safety eyes are 12 millimeter safety eyes. I used a G-hook on those. I think I might make a couple more pickles, but I might hold the yarn double to make them bigger. <laughs> I thought that'd be cute. Alright, next is the pattern I couldn't find again. Um, I know I got it off Instagram. And the reason I had it favorited on there saved. And then I unsaved it because I didn't like the way it came out. Um, and then I, I guess I couldn't find it again after that. So, it is a goose, <laughs> and I don't know who it's by, but if I can find it, I will uh, put it down there. But it's just a little goose. I don't know, I just didn't think it was as cute as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and uh, so I only made one, and I didn't save the pattern. I had it saved, and then I unsaved it, and then I can't find it again. But there he is. He's kind of cute, but he kind of reminds me of the horn off of the original... Uh, Alice in Wonderland, like a purple horn, <laughs> one of those like squeeze horns, it kind of reminds me of that. So I made that one. And then also from Instagram, I made a little chicken. Mine came out tiny because most of these patterns on Instagram are meant to be made with blanket yarn and I don't use blanket yarn. So I made it with just, um, no, this is double stranded. I double stranded it and it still came out tiny. So I, only, I did only make one of these because it came out so small. I just thought it was funny. Uh, and it's just a little chicken and it's by making things naughty. And it came out so small. I don't know. I might make a couple more of these. But I double stranded worsted weight. Oh, I used the same yarn. I made it the same day. <laughs> it's both just Red Heart White and uh, Carrot, I think. And he's got the 12 millimeter safety eyes. And the goose does too. It's a cute little chick, but it's just so small. It's tiny. <laughs> but I might make a few more. Who knows? Alright. So I think that's all the ones off Instagram. And then these ones I also showed in my Vlogtobers, if you watch those. So this is a coffee pattern. I made, I made this because I thought it would be cute because it's Christmassy. But I just don't like the way it turned out, the way I made it. You know, it's, it's the picture of it's really cute. But I just think I messed mine up. <laughs> so it's not the cutest. I'm not going to make it anymore. Um, but it's just a coffee cup and it's by Crafty Kitty Crochet. And it's like a to-go coffee cup with some uh, holly and berries on there. It's cute. But it just didn't turn out the way I had hoped. I think I messed up up here sewing it on. It just looks weird. So there's that one. This is also Red Heart Yarns. This is um, Off White or something like that. Cafe Latte maybe. And then some scraps. Probably Cherry Red. And I think this is one of the Times. And this one was also in Vlogtober. It's got a hair on it. This one, uh, the main pattern is a Robin. The actual pattern from the person who designed it made it a robin it's called christmas robin and it's by curly girl coop but then on ravelry there's a person who made it 
their username is Little Granola. <laughs> I'll link their uh, project page below. And they, they put alterations to make it a cardinal. And I do like the way this turned out. And I, I might make a couple more of these because cardinals are like a real Christmassy bird. And it's just so cute. <laughs> Little fat cardinal. His, his body is um, cherry red and black. Super Saiyan Black, and then 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter safety eyes. And this right here was a scrap ball, so I'm not sure exactly what color it was. But he turned out so cute, so I think I might make a couple more of these. It's kind of big, <laughs> but I, and I might make a couple robins too. Um, because I know a lot of people like birds, and he's just cute. I like him. <laughs> I love him a lot. So I will link the robin pattern, and also the profile, or the uh, project page from Little Granola, of where she altered, she did different alterations. She altered the head. And this, uh, she made this little thing <laughs> to make it a cardinal. I just think it's cute. He kind of looks like an onion or something. <laughs> All right, next is the Mickey Mouse hat I was working on for my brother for Halloween. I gotta give it back to him. Because <laughs> once it, it's, we live in Middle Tennessee, so it takes forever to get actually cold here. But he can wear it when it's actually cold. But the base of the hat is the basic half double crochet hat <laughs> by Mbaka. Crochet, I think, or designs. And then the ears are... From the Mickey hat from Repeat Crafter Me. But I instead of doing one layer, I did two layers each so that it'd be stiffer. So here's the Mickey hat. There's always a fuzz or something. <laughs> so it is a cute little hat. It fits a June and him good. So he can wear it when it's um cold. <laughs> if he will. I don't know if he will. But I gotta give it to him. And there it is. So that was just easy. Red Heart Super Silver Black. Little hat. Alright, the next two things are whips. And one of them is a whip that I've been working on for a long time. Uh, I think in the spring is when we started it. It was part of a collab, but slowly over the months, members of the collab have kind of fallen out of it. Uh, some of them had personal things going on, and we just kind of quit doing it. <laughs> so, um, But I still wanted to finish this sweater because I really like it, and I want to um, have it. But um, I didn't like the sleeves on it. It's supposed to be a puffy sleeve sweater, which is in style, you know. But because I'm a plus size person, I had to make them bigger. <laughs> and they were coming out really big. And I just didn't like it. So I put it down and I let it set for like two or three months without me even working on it. So last night, I took the puffy sleeve that I had made and I ripped it out. And I went ahead and I, I, I did everything but the cuff. I ripped out everything but the cuff. I left the cuff the same. And then I redid the sleeve my way. And I, I did some rolls and tried it on. Did some rolls and tried it on. All the way up. And then I did sew the two panels of the sweater together. And then that sleeve on there. So now I just need to make the second sleeve. And I wrote down what I did. So I knew what I was. So to make them the same. And then do the, the uh, collar. And the cuff thingy at the bottom of the sweater. Brim. I don't, I don't know what it's called. And I do got to sew this cuff close. And deal with a bunch of ends that's in this. Because <laughs> I used all the yarn that I had already done for the other sleeve on this. So there's a lot of ends on the inside of this. Um, but anyways, I just want to share it with you real quick. It doesn't matter which side is the front or the back because it's the same. But there's the front of the sweater. And over here is the first sleeve that I made last night. I do gotta deal with that. But if the sleeve fits me nice and comfortably, not big and bulky, not too tight. And I did put the whole thing over me. <laughs> it's kind of open on this one side like a poncho. Um, and it does sit the way I want it. So I just need to finish, do the sleeve over there, close it up over there. Closing the collar a little bit. I'm just going to do a couple rows probably. Maybe like somewhere between three, four or five rows of single crochet around it. See how I like the way that looks. Because I don't I don't really want to do a ribbed one. <laughs> but I am going to do a ribbed one at the bottom. Just so it matches with the cuffs. But I dread that so much. Because it's going to be a lot of back and forth in the back loop only. It's going to take forever. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try to do it because I want it to match with the cuffs. It doesn't really need to match. But <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited about it. I want to get it done because it's been on my hook pretty much all year <laughs> and the colors for it is uh red heart soft white i think it's either raspberry or light raspberry and lavender <laughs> it's either lavender or orchid i can't remember and i'm using a g hook four millimeter i've used pretty much g hook for all this except this hat i think i used h hook <laughs> um yeah so it's coming along i'm hoping to get done with it before this weekend I want to sit down and like work on it and get it done. But I might not get, be able to get that stinking bottom <laughs> brim done because it's so long. But th that's one of my whips. And like I said, I, I do have some other whips going that's for my collab. So I can't show those just yet. And my last whip that I can share with you is my second snake. <laughs> I was supposed to do this during Vlogtober. 
I finished the first one, but I slacked really bad on the second one. And uh, I haven't got it done, but I did get it started. <laughs> so this is called Sammy the Snake. It's a free pattern. The eyes are from her pick after me. And I'm using scrap balls that I did with a, um, that I got from a yarn swap that I did for Halloween. And I do still have them all in this bag. This beautiful bag that Connie gave me from Connie's Crafty Corner. Um, and I'm using a G-hook as well on it. <laughs> so here is the snake. The second snake is only a few days in. It's that, it's that long. So this is day 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. But I do have all the scrap balls in here. And they're not going to be in the right order. Because I don't remember what the order was. <laughs> But I'm just going to pull them out and use them and finish up the second snake. And then they'll both be done. <laughs> but uh, that's it so far. My snake is turning out way bigger than the pattern. It's made for like a smaller snake. Uh, but I wanted it to be big on purpose because <laughs> it's fun. But the, the big one, the first one that we did, it gets played with a lot. It's in the living room always and the kids both play with it. So then there'll be a second one for them to play with. <laughs> but that is everything I've been crocheting. So it's, it's kind of a lot. But a lot of it I did last week. I didn't do a lot of crocheting this past week because um, of Halloween and everything. We were just super busy doing trick-or-treats and then trick-or-treating and all that stuff. And so now, tomorrow is Monday. We're going to be starting a new week over and I'm going to start crocheting some more. Hopefully. <laughs> but And hopefully I can come back soon and show you that sweater all done and that second snake maybe closer to being done. And then this week sometime, I'm not sure when... But there's going to be some more of the Christmas collab videos coming out. And you'll be able to see new projects on there. One of them is actually one that doesn't have a pattern. It's something I just came up with. But I will explain how to make it if you want to make it yourself. And uh, lots of other fun things. <laughs> so just keep coming back if you want to. Subscribe if you're not. Like this video and share it if you think someone else will like it. Leave me some comments because I love reading them. And if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I'll try to answer them. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because it's kind of late at night. And I need to go get everything ready for bed. <laughs> And I will see you guys in the video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I want to hop in here real quick and just tell you that my sister is having a sale over on her Etsy shop. She has all her stickers and everything that's left on there. I think she has some felt stuff left on there. Uh, all of it's on sale currently. She is still dealing with her blood clot in her leg. She hasn't had a, an appointment yet. They haven't made her appointment yet. So she hasn't been able to make new items yet. But hopefully she will soon. <laughs> so go check out her shop. I'll leave it linked below. And purchase something if you'd like. And also, I need to draw the winner <laughs> or announce the winner for the October gift uh, bag, customish bag. I drew it and I've had it in my phone and I just haven't had a chance to announce it all of October, I know. <laughs> but I was busy. Um, so I'm going to announce it soon. And then I don't know if I'm going to do any more giveaways for the rest of the year because of the holiday season. But uh, I don't know. But anyways, check out my scissor shop and buy you some stickers and stuff because they're all cute. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it.